Hi, welcome to my loft setup. And as you might see, this is where I keep all of my favourite old retro consoles. Excuse the cable management. I haven't quite finished that yet. But as you can see, I do enjoy using a projector. It's pretty, pretty cool for the the older style consoles where the definition isn't so much of a factor. But here we go. I'll just show you what I've got. A whole host of games and things I haven't tidied away yet. Controllers from various formats. PS3, PS2, wireless. What's that one? Another PS2. GameCube, Xbox 360, Wii. Uh, Steam Link, I think that was. Anyway, there's um, obviously other controllers and all bits and pieces in there. And guitar straps for the various guitars. The PS3 and Xbox 360. Another bits and pieces for consoles. Anywho, that's all that. Oh, and my uh, older PC, which I used to capture footage from. And down the bottom we have basically the PlayStation generation, a Wii with full controller ports, which I believe some of them don't have. An Xbox 360, a few games, a couple of amps, the old projector and whatnot. A few guides and books for easy reading I guess and then we have this sort of the retro proper retro side we have a Sega Mega Drive GameCube Wavebird which is the the wireless version which doesn't have rumble function funny enough SNES controllers N64 Brawler which I'm a big fan of minus the placement of the the Z buttons but other than that I do really like this controller and the dead zone is a little bit a little bit tricky it's uh, pretty much the same as this original Xbox, no Xbox, N64 controller, but that is modded with a GameCube style, well, joystick. But other than that, it's completely standard. You also have the N64 games, a couple of cheat cartridges because I couldn't be able to complete some games back in the day, rumble packs and memory card. The N64 itself with an EverDrive and a couple of memory cards. The snares with a multi multi cart card which has about three games I like on there. Obviously your Mega Drive, GameCube, original Xbox, and a VCR. And that little box of tricks is a RCA multi changer. Basically all the consoles here run off RCA output, which is the red, yellow and white cables. And that all goes into that box set down there and then into a faster cluck of cables back there but it goes into a HDMI converter which then goes into a uncoordinated HDMI multi-changer and then all the way into the projector and obviously under there somewhere is a little Elgato HD60 or something rather which then runs into the PC, which I can capture the footage off. So, there you have it. That's the setup. Oh, and they're all run off um, Alexa plugs, so I can switch them off remotely, should I forget to. But you know, it's fun. Anyhow, hope that helped.